Alright, this is the YZ. Um, pretty good condition. It's got some scratches on the plastic, but that's normal. It's the Excel rims. Uh, you see down there it says Excel, Talon hubs, Wave rotor. It's got uh, 111 graphics. <coughs> I mean, numbers and the graphics are Fifth Dragon graphics. That's the clutch lever that's broke off. It's not that bad. You could fix it. I mean, if you want to. I got the extra lever, but it doesn't need it. Um, I gotta turn the music down. It's our snowmobiles. My dad's truck. <laughs> It's fucking cold outside. Um, that's we took off this cover so we could check the crank bearings. There's the V-force reeds. It says PR2 right there on the engine. <coughs> Chain sprockets are good. Chain's pretty loose. I'll have to tighten it back up. There's a talon hub, Excel rim, tires, 75%. Front one, basically brand new. Um, it's got, uh, aero fly bend bars. Oh, excuse me. Um, apply triple clamps, an oversized radiator, uh, Yamaha donuts, Vortex ignition, uh, newer grips. Um, I gotta flip it over because it's against the wall. Let me move it out. Hold on. Alright, this is the other side. Um, no it's not, it's the same side. Hold on. <laughs> this is the other side. The FMF fatty, I mean factory. Yeah, factory fatty. Shorty silencer. Kind of hard to see the cars in the way. Um, it's got pro action stickers. I don't know why, but Spencer put them on there. Um, we had this out. This is a clutch basket that I gotta replace. Um, everything's good on it, other than the clutch basket. <laughs> I'll go show you it real quick. I won't move the clutch basket, but I'll move the top primary gear. See how it's got that play in it? It's not supposed to have any play in it. That's what making that smacking sound. And shut off. So I got to replace the clutch basket. It's got tons of wear on it. Um, those are the side covers. <clears throat> got um, newer brakes on it. New top end. Newer crank. It's gonna be a whole new clutch. Um, I think that's all that's about new on it, other than the grips and front tire. The engine's gonna be pretty much brand new. I'll show you the receipts for the engine, which are over here. Is that? Hmm. These are the uh, receipts for the suspension. Can't I say I hate this fucking camera? Can't see anything on it. Anyway, it says 417 bucks. Uh, that's 313 for the uh, rear shock. These are the um, the suspension charts from PR2. This is another suspension chart. I mean, a receipt from getting it redone. This is the uh, PR2 Performance Engine Division. It ne it tells you for what temperatures, what pilot you got to run, needle, how many clips from the top, main jet, and air screw. Tells you how much your plug gap should be and what runs best with the bike, basically. Um, there's the $2,864.12 for that uh, engine build. Um, they, uh, it basically says 2006 PR2 YZ105 works engine. Split cases, modified cases as required. Installed PR2 stroker crankshaft. 
complete porting and head modifications, bore and replate cylinder to PR2 specs, precision assemble. Um, disassemble bore, reassemble carb. And that's for the top triple clamps that PR2 put on it, which are those. Um, by the way, yeah, it's got an oversized radiator. So those are the seats for the engine. And the seat cover has two little rips in it. I would just run it till it completely rips. But I'm throwing in an extra brand new one, end styles, an extra lever and an extra ring. These are the racks or shelves I put up for my RM parts. But here's the extra ring, brand new. And seat cover, it's an end styles. And the lever somewhere up here. Uh, these are silencers, headers, clamps, rotors, stock reeds, suspension, and ignition, some plastics and gaskets just for a YZ85. Everything else is RM. That's the uh, motor that I originally had on my 07 RM that got screwed up. It was toast when I got it, so I had to get a brand new one, basically. Um, but back to the YZ, um, I'm sure I missed a ton of aftermarket on it, because I know there's a lot more done to it, but uh, it's like four degrees outside and it's cold, it's tits, so I don't want to be out here too long. Um, but it's a pretty nice bike, it runs good when I had it. It started first kick, it just made that clanking time until we figured out what it was. Um, but it ran good and it looks pretty good and everything. So, yeah. There's a couple of dents in the pipe, but they don't affect the performance at all. So, this is the, the Vortex Ignition, which is your maps indoor and outdoor. I honestly don't know what it changes. Um, haven't really looked into it because I don't really care too much. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta put back in there. Um, but I mean, everything's good on it. A uh, ton of aftermarket and everything, so I would start it up, but can't run it without a clutch basket in it. Uh, obviously. I mean, the engine's pretty clean. Everything's pretty clean on it. Put a brand new Sunline shifter on it. It's gonna have all new fluids, new plug. Um, once I uh, get it back together, so everything will be good to go. On that end. Um, so everything's pretty good on it, but. So, yeah. Oh, there's one other thing. That bolt that I was telling you about that broke off the top, it was just the head. But look, it doesn't move, it sticks, and I've never had any problems with it. And I found one more bolt that was broken off right there. I know, just the tip. I could probably have my dad drill them out, but it doesn't hurt it. it see, I'm pulling on it. Barely moves any, and it's going to move a little bit because. This right here slides up and down on it. So, that's the only other thing I can find wrong with it. So, I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. Good to go. Um, it's definitely a fast bike. I beat my friend on his CR250 on it. So, <laughs> tells you how fast it is. So, but. I don't really know what else to say about it. <laughs> Just making this for my friend. He wanted to, he wanted to see the bike because he was looking between a couple bikes. I don't know if you can see the brakes right there or not. How they're pretty much brand new. So he's trying to stop between my bike and another bike. So I decided to make this for him. Everything, everything's good on it. Front wheel. It's tight. Front, front pants. Very well. Tight. Strong iron. Tight. Everything's tight on it. So. Yep. I mean, it's got some time on it, but it was only race. The kid who had it for me, he uh, he rode a, a modded KAX 112. And he had it sent out to Millennium and had it done. So, this is just his race bike. So. Well, it did say on the case PR2 I could have sworn somewhere, but I'd have to look for it again. I don't remember where it's at. Um, hmm, I don't know. It says 105 right there on the back of the cylinder. 
can't really see it. And honestly, the PR2 right there again. Got to gas it off. So, that's pretty much it. On it. Um, don't really know what else. So that's pretty much it. That's all I can think of right now. Um, I, I did replace. There's two clips that go on the front brake that hold the pads together. I just ordered those. It was $24 for two of them. They're just little pieces of metal. So dumb. But I did get those two. Uh, so that's about it. Um, all right. Talk to you later. Peace.